Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Sharing files between two computers is a pretty simple task, but what happens when you want to share files between many computers that aren't necessarily all on the same network or yours? So you want to share certain files with someone else who's on the other side of the world and they happen to be using an operating system that is not your operating system. Well, suddenly it becomes a little more complex to juggle. Unless, of course, you're using software like Dropbox. And if you head over to getdropbox.com right now, the beta is over. They've officially launched. And you can download the client, install it for your operating system, and get two gigabytes worth of storage for free, which may be more than you're ever going to need. So let's say you've got this gigantic video file. And believe me, I, I've dealt with this situation before and huge i mean you could not email it yeah it's too big to upload to one of those free services that you'd find on the web uh like drop.io uh let's say it's it's 400 megabytes but you need to get it to a friend well you could merely just drag it into a folder in your dropbox folder that's a regular folder on your computer and it would be uploaded to your dropbox account and you could share it with someone instantaneously and it would just show up on their machine magically and in fact, uh, changes can be made remotely uh, from one computer to another, and it, the changes would propagate throughout. It is so easy. It is about as seamless as it's going to get with sharing files in a familiar interface, and that would be whatever you use to browse files on your computer, whether it's the Finder in Mac OS X or, let's say, the Windows Explorer in Microsoft Windows. Uh, at least for me, I've got this little icon running in my menu bar. It tells me uh, I'm using 16% of my 2 gigs for free. In fact, 10 Girl reminded me that I should tell everybody about this since they launched officially the other day. Uh, she notes uh, that next week you're going to be able to buy a 50 gig Dropbox for $9.99 a month or $99 for an entire year. But the two free gig accounts uh, uh, will always be free. So you're always going to be able to get 2 gigs for free, which may be more than enough for sharing simple files. And then you've also, this is, I, I think this is kind of neat. I'm going to reverse the colors just because it's easier to see uh, the, the lighter text on a darker background. Uh, Stuart Maxwell was helping with Gnome Dex, and he created a Dropbox folder, and it just shared with me automatically because he, he knew my uh, account, and suddenly uh, I had all his Gnome Dex files on my computer. It was great because I didn't have to get uh, some kind of flash drive, CD. I didn't have to download anything. It was just done, and that is the way this type of file sharing should be. So if you are in a quandary and you don't want to upload to some FTP site, blah, 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 or let's say your files are too big to handle some of those free accounts, well, it, you can get a free account uh, and get two gigs of storage space for free and start sharing files with people. And you get this nice little change log. It says, you join the shared folder at Gnome Dex. Stuart Maxwell moved the file, attendees, blah, 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 blah. Moved the package, uh, added the photo. It's kind of like a, a live stream for files. Uh, you can do this for yourself. You can do this with family. You can do this with anybody as long as they're connected to the internet. Uh, it's an unobtrusive client, at least uh, as, I, as I said on Mac OS X. Uh, it's certainly the way that I'm going to be sharing files uh, that I intend on sharing for, uh, uh, you know, uh, on a permanent basis with other people. Uh, and I think if I, if I do the calculations, $9.99 a month for 50 gigs isn't bad. $99 a year isn't bad if, if again, you take advantage of it. If this isn't a big deal for you, then stick with two gigs. You're going to be fine. Share some photos, uh, share some audio files, some video files, so long as they're yours to share, of course. You're not going to want to do this en masse. It's really for sharing uh, interpersonal or potentially inner office if you don't have any other way of sharing the files. And, you're, and quite honestly, you're tired of lugging these things around, you know, a little USB drive. Uh, this is, well, this is two gigs, but I couldn't send this to you right now. But I could add you and add permissions for you in a Git Dropbox folder, and it's integrated right there within the experience. The uh, preference pane, by the way, for those of you who like uh, watching your bandwidth, you can throttle either the upload rate or the download rate. Uh, it'll also work through proxies. You can change the location on your disk or disks. Uh, it uses Growl if you use Mac OS X. That's kind of a notification system. Um, there's also the ability that you can set it to start on uh, when uh, the operating system boots up or not. I mean, it's it's configurable enough the way you want it to be. I think uh, more than anything, what impresses me is that it looks clean and it's seamless. And that is so important for software. I, I, I very much dislike experiences that take me out of 
my environment. And this very much melts about as, as good as I think it can melt within my existing construct, at least the way that I happen to use the computer on a regular basis. Plus the web interface for browsing files, just kind of cool. The live stream for file sharing, it's kind of neat. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know something better. I, I don't know, I dare you. Maybe, maybe there is something better, I don't know. Maybe you know of an alternative. Maybe you have other ideas for services that are awesome, especially when you have to work with people in uh, different platforms from all around the world. I'm always looking for interesting things, whether it be software, hardware, services, doesn't matter. Drop me a line. You're also welcome to join our community at geeks.perillo.com. And you can imagine we're geeky over there, geeking out about uh, just about anything you can think of, quite honestly. We've got uh, a growing set of groups uh, full of all sorts of geeks, including uh, a lot of, uh, what do they call it? Girl geeks, that's what they're calling themselves. Mom geeks, Harry Potter geeks. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of geek you are, you're welcome in the community. And if you wanna join the, the chat room, you know that it's, it's you know being done in conjunction with this live video feed. And this live video feed is happening. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether I'm here in this desk or not, the chat room is and the community is most certainly alive. You want me, you, you want me to prove it? I know you do. Hang on, I'm gonna show you. Geeks.perillo.com. Going over here, going to log into my account. Free, by the way, go figure my, the geeks.perillo.com account. Then I'm over here, I'm gonna press the who's online button and I'm going to zoom in and show you who's online. These are all the people who are online. Now I'm browsing all the people who are online. Oh, that's me. That's my, not me. That, that that wait. Go back over. No, that, it was over there. Uh, I, I'm using the the uh, CoverFlow uh, application that's built into our community software. Uh, it's actually a script, and uh, you can find us all pretty much uh, just geeking out uh, right now. As a matter of fact, this is the problem. I, I I'll be like browsing the list of people who are online. You know, in, in, until um, I go to bed. Yeah, I should pay attention to that guy's avatar. Stop! Anyway, join us. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.